Alex from Alex's Creative Corner here, back with a, another video, and um, today is part six of the Silkwing Dragon. So here's blue, and you should have your Silkwing with the whole body except for the tail. It doesn't have the tail yet or the stomach, and it shouldn't be wired yet. So, so I already did this part. I'm just going to show you guys what to do. So you're going to be going like this with the open part of the pegs, like over here. Oh my god, I keep knocking that over. So like, um, so you're starting with double loop. So double loop here, 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 and a zigzag. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's about eight. Um, eight in a zigzag. And then you're going to take three bands right here and then three, three more bands and then... And then you're going to take three more bands. Yeah, three more bands right there. And you're going to take two at a time, go diagonal there, diagonal there. And then go down three times. So you're right here. Go diagonal in, diagonal in. And then right here, go down twice. Um, this is all two bands right on this part, starting from right there. Um, and then you can go right there and go right there. And then, so you're going to get two bands at a time and make a triangle right there for our horizontal bands. And then over here for our horizontal bands, you're going to be um, making a spike that has uh, one um, spike color wrapped around five times with a double loop spike color pulling that on. And then get a um, double loop body color and pull that onto it and then put it on there and do that uh, four times. And then you should have one spike left like from the body, one of these body spikes if you don't. Then that is one band wrapped around five times, um, a double loop, pull that on, and then three bands pull that on for claim. Uh, yeah, so once you have that, pause the video, and then when you're done with that, come back with me and get your body. And you're going to want to attach this right side up, so make sure it's like this. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And then um, get your hook. And you're gonna, um, you're gonna go through this set with four loops. And I'm just gonna take off the tying band, and then you're gonna put this set um, onto this peg. And then you're gonna do the same thing with the middle set. And then you're gonna put that. You're gonna put that on this middle peg. And then you're gonna do the uh, other side, the exact same way. Yeah. So you have it on like that. And now you're gonna lift up the top two loops on from each peg. Leave it on your hook. So from there, from there, and from there, and. Now you're gonna get two two bands and um, so two bands for your horizontals. And you're just gonna make a triangle with those two body colors right there. And then you can rec you can reclaim um, each of the top two loops back onto the peg that you that you um, took them from. So the first two for me came right there. There's one. And there's two. And then mm, I can get that on. Okay, so I'm gonna just those two onto there and then so I still have my 
like that. Sorry. Okay, and then I still have two on my hook, and then these are just gonna go right around the, there. So now you're gonna get your, um, go through the middle set, pull these up, but don't lift them yet, and pull the back spike that the last one you have left, just showed you how to make, pull that on, and then loom that. So it should look like that right now. And now you're just gonna go through this side set, and you're gonna loom right here. But you're not going to loom all the way up. You're only going to loom up to, you're only going to loom up to there. So, let's loom up to there. Actually, no. No, no, no. You're not going to loom up to there. You only loom up to right here. And then loom up this other side to the same spot. Um, yeah, it's right there. So it's just like that, did it on both sides. And now you're gonna go in the middle and grab the top two bands. So my top two go right there, and then the other two go right there. So I have one right there, one right there. And so now you can dig down deep, grab the bottom two, and loom. And now you can loom all the way there. So let's go down here. And then same thing on the other side. Okay, so you end to there. It's right here. And now you can um, dig down, grab those three. Yeah, you have to loom these two diagonals and then loom these three. And then loom those three. So now it's a double loop bands, so loom those double loop bands in a zigzag. Yeah, I have a few blue bands, like right there, and I also have one right there. Just because, like, I didn't, I don't actually know why. I thought it would look cool, but kind of gave up on it, did the rest purple. So now you can put your hook right there around those loops, and then you can carefully pull up the double loop, and then you can pull up there, and rip it off. So the stomach, that's what the stomach looks like right now. I had a broken band, so I had to break it some more. Okay, just adjusting it a little bit, because that's not the entire tail. So your tail should look like this. the spikes go all the way down his back to there so now you can't you don't have to but you can make the tail like longer so I'm going oh god I just broke this I'm gonna grab some more purple bands I have no idea where my purple bands are so I'm just gonna grab some random purple Wherever I see any. Okay. Sorry that took so long. Oh, still zoomed. Oh, zoom. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. 
So now you're just going to get your hook and just get a double loop body color. Um, put it on your hook and then pull the tail on. And you're just going to keep elongating it until it's as long as you want it to be. And so yeah, you can make it as long as you want, as short as you want. You don't even have to elongate it anymore. But um, I'll show you what to do to like end it off. Eh, messed up on that one. Yeah, actually, oh, that was a broken band. Don't use a broken band. So, pull the tail on and reclaim. Okay, I'm gonna do one more after this. Okay, here's my last one. So now you're gonna, after you do your last one, you can keep going and just like pause the video here and come back. So you're gonna need a body color or whatever color you just used at the tip of that tail. You can also add spikes by just like putting a cap band onto the tail. But so now you're just gonna um, get a body color and just like make a slip knot. Okay, and so you don't um if you want this to just like stick out like that with that band you guys can go do that but I don't like that so if you don't like that either just follow the tutorial from here um, stick your hook into those bands and then pull I need to zoom in a little bit more and then just pull there a little bit basically just okay so stick your hook through some bands and put that onto your hook and just pull it through. See that? And then just go through here, grab that. And just like keep doing that until you can't see that slipknot band anymore. Because you can also wrap it around the tail, but that does not look good in my opinion. Okay, I think it's about to disappear. Okay, can't, can't see it anymore. Nope, it's still there actually. Okay, so my tail, okay, so here's like my silk wing so far, um, with his, mine is an actual pretty short tail, you guys can elongate, you guys can add more spikes, you can like change it as much as you want, so now I'm just like, kind of like, pushing it, tugging it, to like kind of make it how I want, how I want mine to look. And if there's like a little turn here that you don't like, stick your hook through a band and then just pull up and then it will go down. So I'm just gonna go through those bands, pull down so it will go up. Oh god, that was way too much. <laughs> okay, so here's my silk wing so far. So um, the next. Um, part 7, which will be uploaded soon, is going to be um, the final part, and we're going to do the, we're going to make the stomach, we're going to attach it in that video, so, because this guy has literally no stomach, it's just flat, um, so you guys have to go wire it now, well, you don't, like, have to, but, like, it makes it so much better, it's, like, such a better dragon if you wire it, so, um, in the next video, part 7, um, at the beginning of that video, I'll tell you what to wire it with and, like, what gauge and stuff. So, you're going to have to wait for for that video to wire it because I, um, yeah, I know the big wings, I do 16 gauge wire and then through the body, it's 16 and then 
the legs are probably going to be 20 gauge. And then the small wings um, might be 20. I'm not sure yet. Sure though. Small wings are 20 or 16. You can go do that now. So you, um, so you guys should probably do that. Um, if you are going to do that, do it before you make the belly, which is the next video. So we're almost done with our silk wing. Yay. Did I attach this wing wrong? Not really, I don't know. Eh, stupid. It'll look good when I wear it, so yeah. See you in the next video, bye.